Well, despite the delay in the convention, a crowd of protesters still showed up. Protesters are full steam ahead. Tampa police estimate several hundred people participated in the march against the NRC in downtown Tampa this afternoon. They say they are marching for better jobs, health care, affordable education, and equality. 3,000 officers from 59 different agencies are in and around Tampa this week. I'm sure you've seen them by now. The police presence, the fencing, and the barriers have some people complaining that Tampa has sort of transformed into a police state. They're quick, they're mobile, and they're busy. Large squads of police are on bike patrol, others walking, and seemingly visible on every street corner. Hopefully, we're going to be like the Maytag repairman. We're going to be sitting alone in a room. We'd rather you not see us. We'd rather the thing go off without a hitch and you never get to see the police. Obviously, in a real world, that's not going to happen. Unfortunately, the reality is, is that there's going to be that small percentage of people that are going to be looking to cause problems, and we're going to have to deal with that. I mean, this is a police state beyond police states. You, you're looking at um, a police presence that easily outnumbers the number of people who want to uh, speak uh, uh, a dissenting voice. It's sort of a police state with a smiley face, in a way. Um, you know, for the most part, you know, the officers act nice, and I think there are instructions in, under you know, orders to put on their best face. And I, I've been stopped and asked for ID while I was walking around downtown photographing. And I saw two people uh, temporarily detained by DHS today for the same thing. Right here? Right here is cool? Right here is cool? Is that what you said? Okay. Good afternoon, I'm Storm Team 8 meteorologist Megan Hatton. Want to bring you up to date with the latest advisories. Looks like we just got the 2 p.m. advisory in from Isaac. The system is expected to become a hurricane later on today. It is absolutely a great idea to turn on that weather radio because in addition to the strong storms, we could be seeing the threat for isolated tornadoes. We got, we got a tornado 